Congratulations, John! Wow, yeah, very, very happy right now. Yeah, it's a um, long 20 hours, uh, 80 minutes. Yeah, yep. How have you, are you recovering well now? Like an hour or so now? Yeah, it's a bit of a mess at the finish line, but just had a couple of hours sleep um, and I had lots of bottles of water and just rehydrating and, and actually feel really good now. Okay, okay, we have a few questions for you. Sure. It looks like you have um, the race totally under control today. No, I wouldn't say that. No, like uh, I probably went out a little bit too fast. I made, I made a really big mistake. I forgot my gels. <laughs> Gel. Yeah, so at the first couple of checkpoints, I was sort of trying to get the checkpoint food. I think for some cream cake and and these coconut burgers, which are really tasty, but just didn't sit well. And so for about uh, like 60 to 100 k's, I was really struggling with some stomach issues. Um, but I think we talked before. I had a big poop at 100 k's, and that seemed to, to fix it. <laughs> okay, it's cool. So uh, were you at any moment under any pressure from uh, other runners or Milton who's actually chasing you for the ATM championship? Yeah, look, I mean, I noticed that Milton was running behind me probably for the first 30 or 40 k's and I thought he was probably behind, like, I just didn't know where he was. And so I was always worried about him, even, even at the end, because I know that he's, he's strong and he can finish well. Uh, and then Damien, I didn't know where he was going to be. We ran together for about 40 k's. Um, I knew he was struggling with some quad issues, but yeah, I was lucky enough that um, managed to stay away from them. Okay. So now being the ACM champion, um, where do you place that in your long and successful running career? Like it's right up there. Um, you know, with a lot of races, you know, you can put in a, a, one single solo performance. Yeah, you, know, you can sort of nail it on the day. Like just to get the championship, it just it's required like more training than I've ever done before, um, and really just having to perform in a lot of different, you know, really competitive races. And that's what makes it hard, just having to be consistent over 12 months. So, if, like, yeah, this is really up there, probably one of the best things I've done from a running point of view. So how many races have you done in total? So seven races now. Seven races. Yeah, a few duds in there. <laughs> so what was your, um, is, uh, your high point and a low point in championship this season? Uh, the high point was probably, probably Penang Eco. Like I just, it was the most I've ever trained for a race. I was probably doing 130 k's a week. And it was just amazing getting to that start line and just feeling so strong. And, you know, being able to win it and, and get the course record was, and feel good at a race where I really struggled the year before. That, that was amazing. In terms of low points, look, I mean, yeah, I've had some disappointing results, but the, the great thing with Asian Trail Masters is you can have a bad race, but you still get to see some amazing places. You meet some great communities of runners. You see some, you know, some great trails. And so I, I haven't had any negative experiences um, because you, the totality of all that means I've really enjoyed the year and just exploring and, and seeing you know, different parts of Asia. Okay, so is there any, any other race that you plan to do or you're actually looking forward to do next year? Well, it's an MTF. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, no. So it's just next weekend, right? Yeah, next weekend. So I think, yeah, with that, it'll be, yeah, it'll be 330 kilometers of racing in 15 days. <laughs> uh, but then next year, oh, I don't know if I can, you know, try to defend my championship. Just Elaine, my missus, has been really understanding. I don't think I can <laughs> run away and do that many races again. It, just, it takes a big commitment. Um, but having said that, I'd still like to go and pick and choose some races. There's, there's some really interesting ones that I still haven't done yet. So, yeah, I'll still be doing some of the Asia Trail Masters races, but maybe not go for the championship again. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, do you have any recommendations or advices to the runners who are keen uh, in competing in next year um, championship? Yeah, look, I think... I think plan uh, and then go hard early. Um, I think you, know, you, you just need to plan, be really organised, hit some of those super trail races really early. Don't do what I did and then just do a big cram at the end <laughs> just to get points because you're running tired and, and mentally drained. It's, it's really difficult. Uh, and then also, like if if you really want to win it, you've got to nail the super trails. So really, you know, make the May races, you know, train really hard in the lead up to them, and you know, obviously you've got to you know, try and perform on the day. 
Okay, so uh, you'll be racing the last race in MTF next weekend. So will you be um, racing all out, or will you just go there and enjoy and probably try the delicacies at the checkpoints? <laughs> Ooh, delicacies! <laughs> After today's experience, I'm not sure, but uh, look, see how the legs recover in the next few days. Honestly, they, I think they're going to be pretty beat up, but yeah, we'll see how they go. Okay, cool. So, you have any things to say to your fans? I'll <laughs> Look, I mean, yeah, I mean, give the Asia Trail Masters series a go. Like, it's it's been amazing. It's a great excuse to go visit some cool trails, meet some new people, see some new places. Uh, and I've loved every single minute of it this year. And to you, Sashi, you have anything to say? Uh, honestly, like, you've been amazing. Um, like, just the amount of improvement you've had this year. Yeah, honestly, I'm... I'm happy that we're not racing next year because I don't think I could beat you next year. And so, uh, in a lot of ways, I think I'm lucky that you know we had our battle this year. But you know, as a as a competitor, you know, as as a runner, just you, you've been so courageous, such a warrior, and I'm just so so amazed and proud of how far you've advanced in only a couple of years. I think you've got so much talent, and you know, you're really going to go places. I'm really interested to see where you can take it. Okay, cool. Okay, congratulations, John, and, uh, and see you next week. Awesome. Typing. Okay.